Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Edgar and welcome again to this C++ programming tutorial. So today I am going to discuss the continuation of the topics uh, included in our lesson 1 which is the introduction to computers and programming. So basically, I mean, to be specific, I am going to discuss uh, the topic 2 and also the topic number 3 which is the programs and programming languages. So we're gonna uh, discuss what is programs and also what is programming languages and uh, the history of C++ why it is called as C++ not C okay so let us proceed so with the programs and programming languages so jump tayo doon sa topic okay so nung nakaraang mga discussion so konting review lang tayo we do discuss what is a program what is program and what is programmer and also what is computers so without programmers no programs without programs the computer cannot do anything so kailangan meron tayong programmer meron tayong program na develop ng programmers and also we do have computer for the execution of that instructions kung ano yung ginawa ng programmer yan yung program yung ipapagawa doon sa computer that is uh, the program yung instructions natin so we also discuss the, the 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 components of the computer systems for its hardware and software we have the central processing unit or the main memory the secondary storage the input devices and output so we do have uh the control unit and uh, the uh, the arithmetic logic unit of the cpu when we say uh control unit we are referring to fetch decode and execution so within our algo or ALO rather, arithmetic logic unit, it will perform different arithmetic uh, operations such as the, uh, the addition, subtraction, division, and multiplications. So, we do also this uh, study, oh, we also discuss also the, the CPU roles in running a program. Ano ba yung nangyayari kapag ka nagraran tayo ng program? Okay, we do have fetch, decode, and execute. And also, um, Will I discuss also the system software? Okay, kapag sinabi nating software, system software, we do have uh, three, rather, uh, three categories of the system software. We do have the operating system, the utility, and the software development tool. Kapag sinabi nating operating system, ito yung mga uh, operating system na ini-install natin sa ating mga computers, and also in our mobile devices or uh, smartphones. So, ano na ba yung mga klase ng operating system? We have the Windows, we have the Mac operating system, we have the, li the Linux and the Unix or the Unix. And also for, for smartphones, we do have uh, the Androids or the Android rather. And also for utility programs, we do have uh, the virus scanners, the data backup, file compressions, yun yung mga examples ng utility programs. Yung mga software development tools, ito yung mga ginagamit natin for uh, to create a software okay ito yung mga ginagamit ng programmer they are uh, designed to create a software for a certain programming languages so ang tinatawag natin dyan is the compiler if you are going to create a C++ uh, a program which is uh, in uh, C++ programming so we're gonna use the compilers different compilers you are, you are fortunate because uh, meron tayong applications of, uh, applications na available sa Play Store na pwedeng gamitin to create uh, programs for C++ or tinatawag nilang integrated development environment so medyo unfortunate lang tayo kasi wala tayong laboratories so that's why we need to use uh, different resources or different compilers o, pwede rin tayong gumamit ng compilers online gonna visit different websites so later ipapakita natin okay yung application software it could be like uh, the word processing programs uh, the microsoft powerpoint so spreadsheet or email web or a game programs those are example of the application softwares now so let us proceed with uh, the topic 2 which is the program and the programming languages so before mag end yung aking discussion i will be playing videos regarding the, the common languages nowadays and also uh, to discuss the history of the C++ so magpiplay na lang tayo ng uh, videos para mas madali okay 
So, start tayo with lesson number 2, which is the program and programming languages. Okay. Doon sa ating part 1 ng video, diniscuss natin yung program. Okay? Pag, kapag sinabi natin program, it is a set of instructions directing a computer to perform. Okay? So, kapag walang instructions, walang perform na mangyayari. Walang computer na magpa-perform ng task. So, meaning, uh, yung tatlo nating uh, entities, we have uh, the programmer, the program, and the computer. So, yung ating computer, magdidepende yan kung meron tayong instructions na ginawa. And that is a program. Okay, magdidepende yung ating program kung meron tayong programmer na nag-develop. Kung wala tayong nag-develop na programmer, walang program, walang computer na mag-perform ng task. Okay? So, kapag sinabi nating programming language, it is a special language used to write a program. So, ano yung mga language or special languages na ginagamit natin to write a program? Katulad nung sinabi ko kanina from our previous discussion, yung... Uh, utility softwares. So, this is an example of programming languages yung ginagamit natin to write a programs like the IDE. Okay. So, program is a set of instruction. So, ano ba ang magandang example for this instruction? Kapag sinabi natin instruction, dinadirect natin yung computer to perform a certain task. Say, for example, we have a uh, uh, you are going to create a computer program. Okay, you're going to task. So, sasabihin mo sa computer, I'm going to create a program that will calculate for someone's gross pay. Okay, ano ba yung mga dapat natin gawin o dapat gawin ni computer para makapag-calculate ng someone's gross pay? Yung gross pay, ito yung uh, pinagtrabahuhan mo. Okay, dinayaran ka doon sa pinagtrabahuhan mo. So, uh, ang, ang sistema dito is you're gonna work for a certain uh, company or a certain work then you will be paid per hour or depende doon sa, sa pinag-usapan nung uh, trabahador at nung nagpapatrabaho. Kung hourly basis ka, so meaning ang bayad sa'yo per oras, so tatanungin mo kung magkano yung per oras, ilang oras ka nagtrabaho, ikakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
So meaning that is for uh, the hours work, we have the hourly per pay rate and also our result for the gross pay. Uh, yung gross pay tatlo na. Then after that is we're gonna display doon sa screen na sinasabi natin ang na amount or I mean the amount of money you earned is something like this. To so include natin yung uh, result within the calculation. So meaning simple as this. So ano ang gagawin mo? Sa computer I'm going to calculate for someone's gross pay. Ano unang gagawin? So i-display ang message, tatanungin magkano, I mean ilang ilang oras ka nagtrabaho, mag-enter ang user. Pangatlo, uh, ilang oras ka nagtrabaho, mag-enter ang user. Pangapat, i-multiply natin yung hours at saka yung magkano yung rate. After natin ma-multiply, so syempre, i-display natin sa screen ilan ba yung uh, amount ng money na natanggap mo o na-earn mo. I mean, yung bayad sa'yo. So, that is how programs is uh, supposedly do. Okay? So, ano ba ang tawag natin dito sa uh, sa part na to? Okay. So, these are supposedly instructions. Kasi, in programming, kapag wala tayong instructions na ginawa, meaning, walang program na mangyayari. So, dapat alam natin yung instructions na gagawin. Okay? Let us proceed. Balikan natin ito mamaya. Okay? So, we have the what we call uh, algorithm. Okay? Ano ba yung algorithm? Okay? Kapag sinabi natin algorithm or algorithm or whatsoever, kung ano man yung gusto nyo, but algorithm. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin algorithm, there is a set of well-defined steps to perform a task or to solve a problem. So, kapag sinabi natin well-defined, so, ibig sabihin, we have a specific uh, steps, kumbaga, naka-accurate, uh, I mean, reliable and well-defined yung steps natin ginawa. So, meaning, this is an example of a what we call an algorithm. Bakit? This is a steps. So, meaning, uh, ganito lang kasimple. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-display ng ng amount money earned without entering kung ilang oras ka nagtrabaho or kung magkano yung binayaran mo kasi that is an algorithm so meaning we have to uh, create the steps okay ano ba yung steps so they they are i mean the steps must be performed sequentially so dapat uh, sequence i mean sequentially yung ating order for uh, the steps to be performed. So, yung unang gagawin is, we're gonna include, enter natin yung hours, enter natin yung uh, hourly rate, then, saka natin i-calculate, then, gonna display yung ating gross pay. So, kapag sinabi natin algorithm, it is a set of well-defined steps. So, steps to perform a task or to do solve a problem. Okay? So, Sa algorithm, meron tayong tinatawag na dalawang klase ng algorithm. Siguro ito ay madidiscuss doon sa inyong last part, siguro ng lesson 1, I think. That would be in the topic number number 4, if I'm not mistaken. Tama ba? Ah, number 5 pala, number 5. Okay, meron kasi tayong dalawang klase ng algorithm. So, yung algorithm kasi natin, meron tayong iba't ibang klase. We have uh, the algorithm, we have the pseudocode, and we have uh, the what we call uh, the flowchart. So, yung algorithm kasi natin, kapag sinabi natin step, meron tayo in programming, meron tayong, sa lahat ng programming languages to ha. So, meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng way on how to create a uh, what we call algorithm. So, meron tayong a flowchart, meron tayong hierarchy, meron tayong uh, pseudocode. Okay, it could be, yung pseudocode natin, it could be uh, detailed so, pseudocode or kung gusto mo mag pseudocode ka whatever it is so you're free to create your own algorithm so yung algorithm is important so in in information technology and also in computer program uh, computer science so napaka importante ng algorithm especially kapag ka nagde-develop kayo ng program ito yung unang steps para makapag-decide kayo kung anong klaseng program ang gagawin nyo dapat alam nyo yung algorithm ng inyong program Okay? So, it is important to know kung ano yung, for, uh, kung ano yung steps para makapag-create tayo ng uh, program. So, we need to know what is algorithm. 
Okay? So, dito na tayo sa programming uh, the machine language. Okay? So, ang machine language, siguro you are familiar with this, from the word machine. So, we are referring to machine that is a device or it could be uh, a computer. Okay? Kapag sinabi nating language, so in general, ito yung ating... Uh, ang tawag dito. Ito yung ginagamit natin para magkaintindihan tayo. Okay, we do use English, we do use Filipino or Tagalog, or Chinese ka, Nihongo, whatever. So, yan yung mga klase ng languages natin. Okay, sa computer, ang tawag natin dyan is machine language. O, kasi naman, hindi natin alam kung ano yung sinasabi ng computer. So, that's why an IT people and the computer science people or computer scientist knows what is the language of a machine. Okay, kapag sinabi natin machine language, it is a computer's native language. Okay? Ano pa? It is uh, instructions that are in the form of binary code. Kapag sinabi natin binary code, doon sa previous discussion natin, we have bits and, uh, uh, ano na nga yung isa? Bits and bytes. Okay? So, kapag sinabi natin binary code, it is uh, series of ones and zeros. Okay? So, a language that the computer can understand, so, ang ginagamit natin is bits or the binary code. Okay, that is zeros and one. Kapag sinabi nating one, this is uh, on or it could be yes. It could be true. Kapag sinabi nating zero, that is uh, no, of, or yes or no, uh, that's no, that is false. Okay. So, yun yung interpretation natin with regards to machine language. So, in in your later, ano ba, uh, siguro mga second year ninyo, third year, okay, mapapagdaanan nyo yung mga la machine language, ma malulula kayo doon sa ones and zeros. When you're studying operating system, okay, kasi papasukan natin yung loob, pinakaloob ng computer system. Paano ba uh, naipapasa, say, nag-encode ka ng A, paano ba naiintihan ni computer yan, paano nadidisplay yan sa screen. Ulitin lang natin, ang machine language, it is a native language of a computer. Okay? So, instructions that are in the form of binary code. So, meaning, ang ginagamit na code ng machine language is binary and that is ones and zeros. The series of ones and zeros. Okay. So, ano-ano ba yung mga categories ng programming languages? So, meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng categories ng programming languages. We have the what we call low-level language and the high-level language. Kapag sinabi nating low-level language, it contains a basic instructions. Ano yung mga basic ins instructions? It could be a machine language like ones and zeros. Ano pa? Ito yung ginagamit natin for communications with the computer hardware and that is ones and zeros, yun lang kasi ang lingwahe na pwedeng maintindihan ni computer. Okay? It is uh, very easy. Uh, hindi na to kasama. Okay? So, kapag sinabi natin low-level language, it is a machine language or any language similar to machine language. It is used for communication with uh, the computer hardware directly. Okay. Kapag sinabi, namin na, sinabi naman natin high-level language, mali lang yung spelling, ha? This is single N. Kapag sinabi natin high-level language, this is the language that people can read, write, or understand. Read, write, and understand. So, ano-ano ba yung klase ng uh, uh, high-level language natin ginagamit? Okay. We do use an algorithm. Okay. Kanina, diniscuss natin yung algorithm is to daw yung well-defined steps. Okay? Ano yung algo? Meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng algo. We have uh, the flowchart, meron tayong pseudocode, meron tayong hierarchy, so on and so forth. So, ang sinasabi nating high-level language, it is closer to the level of a human. So, the difference between low-level language, kapag sinabi nating low-level language, it is a machine language used for communication with the computer hardware. Kapag sinabi natin high-level language, ito yung language that the people can read, write, and understand. Closer to the human language. Okay. So, ano-ano ba? History of... Ano-ano ba yung mga uh, common, rather? Tama ba ako? Uh, common, uh, 
tama ba? Ano-ano ba yung mga uh, popular, high-level programming languages? So, ito yung mga uh, programming languages or the term PL. Okay, I'm going to use PL. Kapag narinig yung word na PL that is referring to programming language, yan yung abbreviation na ginagamit ng mga programmers. So, so the PL. So, ano-ano ba yung mga high-level languages na ginagamit natin? Ano ba yung mga popular Uh, high level language programming na ginagamit natin nowadays. So I'm going to play a video, a short video regarding this uh, high level programming languages. Okay, so let's proceed with the topic number three, which is uh, the brief history of the C++. So I'm going to play another video regarding uh, the brief history of the C++. History of C++ language. Many new programming languages appeared during the 1960s. The computer at that time was still in early age of development. The language ALGOL 60 was developed as an alternative to Fortran. The language corporal, combined programming language, was developed in 1963. It was more specific for concrete programming tasks of that time than ALGOL or FORTRAN. But it was very difficult to learn. Martin Richards developed developed BCPL, Basic Combined Programming Language, in 1967 that was a simplification of corporal. 
Ken Thompson created the B language in 1970. C language was derived from B language. The B language provided the basis for the development of C. C language was originally designed to write system program under Unix operating system. The power and flexibility of C language made it popular in industry for a wide range of applications. The earlier version of C was known as K&R, Kernine and Richer C. The American National Standard Institute ANSI developed a standard version of the language. The standard version is known as ANSI C. This new version provided many features that were not available in the older version. Jan Straustrup from Bell Labs started the development of C++ language in 1980. The first commercial release of the language appeared in October 1985. It was originally named C with classes, it was an enhancement to C language. It allows the use of a programming technique known as object-oriented programming. Oop! C++ language was refined during 1980s, and it became a unique language. It was very much compatible with the code of C and provided the most important characteristics of C. ANSI Committee X3J16 began the development of a specific standard for C++ from 1990. In mid-1998 ANSI ISO C++ language standards were approved. This standard is used by most of the compilers used today to compile programs. The language became very popular and now it is the preferred language to develop professional applications on all platforms. Now here are some features mentioned. Number one is convenient language. Second is well structured. The fired one is case sensitive. Fourth one is machine independent. It means that C++ language provides machine independence. It means that the programs written in C++ language can be executed on different types of computers. For example, a program written in C++ can be executed on Intel processors and Motorola processors with a little modification. It is preferable to write program in C++ rather than machine language. The fifth one is object-oriented. Modular programming. It means that a program can be divided into small modules. These modules can be developed and compiled independently and then linked together. Standard libraries is the one most important features in C++ language. Hardware control is also the supper feature in C++. Brevity. Brevity is a small language it has a small number of keywords and programming controls. But still it is very powerful for developing different types of programs. The code written in C++ is very short as compared to other programming languages. Okay, that will be the end of uh, the video presentations regarding the brief history of the C++. Okay, so in the next video, na gagawin ko, I'm going to discuss the topic number four, which is the program structure and elements. Okay, so that would be for this video. Thank you. This is Teacher Edgar and have a nice day.